Hey, how you doing? I'm Jim Stewart. I run a company called Shred and Butter and we do camper conversions and big vehicle fabrications and stuff like that. We're currently stood in one of our latest projects, which is Big Red, which is an old 1988 American school bus that came over from the States that we've turned into a little camper. So this bus was totally a project of love. Me and my other half toured from LA up to Tahoe in an American school bus. And when we came back to the UK, we were like, we've got to have one. So we've been really excited about this project. We've got a little baby due in four weeks. So it was perfect timing for us to create a little home from home and really have something we can just jump in and go away whenever we want. We love using the reclaimed wood. So most of the stuff you see here is all from the farm that we're on. It's all pallet wood, reclaimed timber that comes in from the scrap pile, as well as old plumbing pipes, copper piping, galve tubes, and old bits and pieces left over from other jobs, which is really cool to be able to, to use it all up. Right here, you'll see we have two travel seats. So under here we have seat belted seats so that we're safe and legal when we're driving. But it's also double as part of our dining area. So this is a slot in table. So you can seat four comfortably to have dinner. Then over here we have our kitchen area. We've got a 240 volt fridge and a Calor gas cooker. It's a proper cast iron cooker with a gas bottle behind here, hidden away. Seat belted in, keeping it safe. And then we use quite a lot of marine plumbing. So rather than having electrical kind of style plumbing, we have pump style, so it's all on levers. So it's like a suction pump, brings the water up. Nice and easy to replace in sort of 10 litre bottles underneath there. We tried to use loads of different finishes on the pallet wood. So as you can see on the floor, we've got like painted pallet wood, sanded, and then we've got like scorched pallet wood as well. So just given off all the different finishes you can do with reclaimed stuff. So this is a big long sofa that can double as an adult bed as well, which is kind of handy. We've used like a tweed style fabric that came from Yorkshire Fabrics. I was born in Yorkshire, so it was really nice to use a, a Yorkshire warehouse that kind of produces really nice tweedy dog's tooth finish, setting off the real country vibe with the sort of mustard and the gray. It really goes well with the wood. Under the sofa is a huge amount of storage. So the cushions lift up and then we have some hinge lids and we can keep all our cables and bedding and bits and pieces under there. Um, as you'll see, we like to kind of have all the electric second fix. So we use galv tubing and stuff and then we can get really creative with shapes and the way it runs around. The bus is powered uh, by a built-in to the Dometic three kilowatt generator that runs off the diesel tanks as well. So that's remote controlled from just behind you over there. And we also have a solar panel getting fitted next week that will give us just fully off grid power. It's also heated with two uh, Eberspacker diesel night heaters again running off the tanks of the bus. So there's one for the lounge and then one under the bed at the back, all fully controlled from the inside as well. So you wake up cold in the morning, you can have it like a sauna in here in about 10 minutes, which is really cool. So we wanted to kind of utilize this space. We have a pointer dog and that's his little bed there. But we thought as baby gets older, we can change these into kids bunks or just keep them as storage and wait and see. Uh, back here, we have a super king size bed. One of the things about living and camping in a bus is being able to have the biggest size bed you can and matching it to the size at home. So you'll see a huge bed with a memory foam mattress, which is super sweet. Plus we have a TV on the wall. If you get rainy days, you can hide away in here. It's really nice. Under the bed, a huge amount of storage. It lifts up. Under there, I keep my paddle boards, my wetsuits and stuff like that. So when we're on the road, it's all tucked away and can't come sliding forward. And then through this door here, we have the most essential part of the bus, which is the toilet area. Under here, we have a chemical loo that's hidden away under this little bench. And it's in a way so that you can still sit down when you're brushing your teeth in the sink on there as well. Again, using the sort of painted pallet wood floor just to show off the different finishes you can get. Another skylight above my head here, letting some of the morning light in. And that's kind of it for the inside. 
So moving on to the outside, we created a outside kitchen space. This is one thing we always found when we were on the road. It's nice to be able to come outside and put the cooker out here, kind of create a little area to cook on. Um, also great to have three big two and a half meter awnings up there. They're all independent, so come out one by one. Just wind out manual awning. As you can see, the bus is red now. It used to be yellow. It was actually a Santa's Grotto before we got it. And it came to us with really flat paintwork. So I had the Surrey polishes come out and bring that paint right back out. And I really love the way the patina of the yellow still shines through. So you can still tell it was an old yellow school bus. It's the typical ball nosed front international bus. There's a lot of them in the flat front end. And I love the way that big truck kind of looks on the front there. That's it. That's big red. Me and my other half, my fiance, with a baby coming, just, we just knew that we wanted to have that home from home just so we could just jump in it on a weekend, disappear, have it all ready. All we need to do is pack a bag and jump in this. So this is totally a personal project for us and we absolutely love it.